Have you ever had paralysis by analysis? I've been getting a lot of that lately. It's, um, it's actually been kind of um, hard for me to keep my thoughts straight. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, I need to put together hardware packs for the 2x72 grinders. So I've just been doing them one at a time. And uh, I, I purchase you know, everything to kind of store here, right? And also got every single thing you need here in these bins. And I've been putting them together one by one, just, you know, as they as the orders come in, I just put them in a Ziploc bag and then mail them out. And I think, oh, today I'll sell one. And then, you know, maybe in a few days I'll sell like a couple more or whatever. But every single day I'm getting orders, right? So... I just decided I'll, I'll put together, get ahead of myself here, put together three, you know, to ship out or whatever. And then yesterday in the mail, I got my laser cut pieces for the, the 2x72 Revolution grinders. These look amazing. They are just absolutely perfect in every way. Uh, so I thought, all right, now I need to do a photo shoot to shoot these and get them up on the website so those can go for sale because I get asked a lot about parts and pieces. Uh, when I designed the 2x72 grinder, <clears throat> I didn't realize the demand would be as strong as it would. I knew the market was there. I knew people are looking for a easy to build 2x72 grinder that wouldn't require difficult fabrication. So uh, by putting the plans out there, I got a little ahead of myself because all of a sudden I had a fairly thriving business, a business that, is, that was working really well. And I don't have my, my plasma cutter yet. In fact, uh, I got a shipment notification from Langmuir Systems yesterday that it would be coming in probably this week, but it's just, everything is just delayed with all the situation we're in. So. Um, a, a, a fellow who I met through YouTube and Facebook and somewhere else. I, I, I can't remember exactly where I met Matt, but um, he's the one that came up with um, uh, the laser cutting thing. So him and I worked it out to where if you want these pieces cut the plate, not the tube, so you'd still need to provide the tube for yourself, but all the plate steel, the hinges and the platen, the motor mount, and then also over here, I've got the um, the base plates that all that all comes in together, and again these are just perfect. I mean the laser cut is just I'm so impressed with that how good it looks. Uh, and I check for tolerances and everything is spot on. It's dead on. So if you want this, we can have them laser cut and shipped to you for $195 in the continental US. So you get all the plate steel for 195 bucks, which is two hinges for the work rest, platen, motor plate, base plate, and a set of four hinges here, including the difficult C-channel one. And that will get you, you know, 195 bucks gets you everything. And then you just have to cut your own tube steel and obviously hardware which is here i've got these up on my website for sale right now so uh yeah i mean you can build the, the, in my opinion if you're going to build this 2x72 grinder the plate steel the cutting of the plate steel is by far the most difficult portion of the build and it's the most time consuming and it's the most messy and probably the most dangerous so for just under 200 bucks shipped to your door you can have an entire set already cut and it's perfect that's that's to me worth every bit of that so i am going to use these pieces to photograph for the website get them up on it and then i will include a link down in the description so you can you can purchase the kit uh, as of right now we don't have anything separated out so you have to buy everything but once i'm done photographing this stuff I'm going to build another grinder with these parts. Maybe two, I guess, two more grinders. And then if you buy through the website, 
the payment comes to me and then I send your information to Matt in Central Texas. I think he's in Central Texas or Houston. And then it goes out from there. So it will not ship from Florida. It will ship from Houston or thereabouts in that area. So that's kind of how the workflow has been going. Uh, getting back to the paralysis by analysis thing, I kept thinking like, you know, at what point d does, is this going to change for me? You know, like is the, or are the orders going to still slow down or stop? And they really haven't, you know, um, in fact, they've increased, you know, uh, I built that grinder for Dustin over at the art of craftsmanship and a bunch of you have subscribed to my channel because of Dustin and his uh, connection with me and and uh, I hope to meet him in person one day. Uh, that would be an amazing thing and um, to work in his workshop or maybe he'll come down here and work with me. But for now, um, you know, that that really, the intention there to, to send him that grinder was really to just support his channel. You know, it, 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 the, the byproduct of gaining subscribers and the business from that is awesome. And, it, and I, man, I appreciate it. It's the, that's so cool, but really, I wanted to support Dustin and his work. And the best way I knew how to do that was to build him a grinder. Now, I don't build those grinders. I mean, I, I built mine and I built his and, I've, and I'll probably build another one here, but a lot of people have reached out and said, hey, I want you to build my grinder for me. But that really isn't my business model. You know, um, I, I can connect you with people who want to, who can do that for you if you'd like, for a fee, of course. But uh, I'm not. I'm not going to be building grinders for sale. I'm just, you know, assembling the parts and putting them together. Really, the revolution was designed specifically, specifically for the home builder. You know, it wasn't designed to be like a mass manufactured thing. Now, if if somebody were to approach me and say, "Hey, we want to mass manufacture these," I, I'm all for that. You know, we could work something out. But um, as of right now, I, I'm just really not gonna focus on building um building that and i know that sounds like oh uh, maybe i'm not being grateful there or whatever but it's it really isn't that it's um i didn't want to be a fabricator that's not what i want to do with my life you know i i want to i, I want to design and build i want to design and 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 sell grinder parts but man i guess it's hard to you know what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about right so i'm not a builder i'm not a fabricator that's not my that's not my life goal my life goal is to um, is to create things for other people to use, and then also create content and do what I'm doing he here in my workshop and be content with that. And I think if I built grinders all day every day, which I could probably do, um, or open a manufacturing plant or something along those lines, I, I don't think that, that would make me very happy at all. I don't think I would want to do that. Now, if somebody wants to do that and you want to team up with me and you've got the manufacturing and fabrication facility for that. Hit me up, brian at housework.us. I can funnel some work to you. And maybe there's a business opportunity there. So, hence the term, paralysis by analysis. It took me a long time to come to that conclusion. I was paralyzed by the thought that I would have too much to do and I didn't want to do it. So I just said no to it and accepted it and then moved on but it took me a really long time so anyway i love you guys appreciate you i hope you're happy healthy and well if you got something out of today's video make sure you hit that thumbs up button and if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and if you hit that little bell you'll get a notification every time i upload something to youtube there are many ways to support my channel you can buy my plans you can buy my parts you can go on patreon or teespring and buy a cool housework shirt you can do all those things, and, and I would truly appreciate it if you did that. It would support everything I've got going on right here in my workshop. As always, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Brian House, and this has been Housework.